Have you ever just not had the motivation to grind for money when you really needed it for the next update? Well, I bet you have. Myself included has many times needed the money, but I just did not feel like playing the game or I just didn't have the time. In that case, this method is perfect. Since when you do the method I'm going to show you today, you almost don't have to do anything for the money to start coming in. This is how to make millions while AFK in GT Online completely legit. But before we get into the video, if you play a lot of GT Online and you often need the guides and tutorials, I would highly suggest to check out my channel. I have lots of guides on lots of businesses and now with the new update, I will push even more guides and tutorials and how to's and everything about that. So if you're in invested in GT Online, please consider subscribing. That would be a joy. Anyway, let's get back into the video. So to start, we want to first get a method of being actually AFK. Because if you didn't know, if you stay AFK in GT Online for about 13 minutes or so, it varies, then you will get kicked from the game. But there is a way to not get kicked at all. So this you can do throughout the whole night. For example, you go to bed, you leave your Xbox on or you leave your PlayStation on and you'll not get kicked for the whole night. The way of doing this is basically you go to the Alice car meet and when you're at the Los Santos car meet, you then go over to the area where you can buy vehicles, but you can also test drive vehicles. And here you go and choose test drive alone. It doesn't matter which vehicle you choose, just choose one of those three. You go in there and instantly when you get in there, just turn around and drive back outside. Side. But what will happen then is you will get a menu popping up. This menu you want to stay in. When you're in this menu, this is where you will not be kicked. I know it is pretty weird, but this is where you want to stay AFK for the entire time you want to stay AFK. If you click enter LS car meet or anything like that, you will then be kicked later. It will not work. You have to stay in this menu right here. Right, so now we have gone through how to stay AFK effectively. So now let's go through the best ways of getting money while you are AFK. And arguably the best way of actually getting money is the nightclub because this is very heavily AFK oriented or you can AFK really easily with it. So firstly, there are two methods of getting AFK money from the nightclub. The first one is a safe. With this, you will gradually get money from the safe in your office. And at any time you want, you can go and collect it. The maximum capacity of this safe is $250,000. And when it hits this amount, you have to take it out or else it will stop producing money. If you're wondering how much money you will get in this safe, it depends, but I'll explain it quickly for you now. Every 48 minutes, you will get an amount of money that will be put into your safe. This amount of money depends on how high the popularity of your club is. If you have the popularity maxed out, as you should, you will get $50,000 added to the safe every 48 minutes. However, the popularity bar will drop down as your nightclub becomes more boring for the guests, but there are ways to bring them back. Some quick ways of bringing them back is for example changing the DJ. This is probably the quickest way of doing it, because if you've already bought a DJ before, it only costs 10,000. You won't fully fill it up if the whole popularity bar is empty, but it will give you quite a lot. If you pay for one of the 100,000 ones, by the way you only get this if it's the first time changing to that DJ, then you will fill up the whole bar. It's quick and easy, but but it's not the best. You can also do popularity missions. These speak for itself. They are, they are missions that up your popularity. These you start from your computer at the nightclub management. You then click promote club. Or you can call Tony, who is the guy at your nightclub who runs it for you. And you can request a popularity mission from him. The third, and in my opinion, the best way is kicking out troublemakers and also helping drunk VIPs. This is really, really easy because these are not even missions. For kicking out troublemakers, you literally go over to a yellow marker or yellow blip on your map and then you click right on the D-pad. That's it. You get a cutscene of you kicking out a guy and then you get $10,000 and also a bit of popularity. It's that easy. It's literally 10 seconds. The helping drunk VIPs one is a bit longer because you actually have to drive the VIP either home to the hospital, etc. But you also get 10,000 here and you also get the same amount of popularity, I believe. So it's worth doing both of these, but definitely the kicking out troublemakers one is the best. It's so quick. I would say you get it once every 48 minutes or so. 
So every time you go to take out your money from your safe and your nightclub, it will most likely be another event you can do like kicking out troublemakers or helping drunk VIPs. If you keep the popularity bar up and regularly check in if it's topped up, of course you won't do this in your AFK, but if you just max it out before you go AFK, it will be fine. Then you should expect to get $50,000 every 48 minutes. As I said, the maximum capacity of the safe is $250,000, so make sure to take this money every couple of hours so you maximize how much you earn with your club. Now, the other way of getting money with the nightclub is the actual warehouse that is underground. And this warehouse is completely passive. You don't even have to do some popularity missions or something like that. It is completely passive. The only things that you have to make sure is that you have connected the best businesses to the nightclub. And the top 5 best businesses that earn you the most money per hour in the nightclub is cargo and shipments, sporting goods, South American imports, pharmaceutical research and cash creation. If you're wondering how the warehouse works a bit more so you can actually get this set up, then I can link my nightclub guide up in the right corner of your screen right now. It's the nightclub guide and it explains this much better. But basically, to put it simply, it's cargo and shipments, sporting goods, South American imports, pharmaceutical research and cash creation. That is the five you want to have. Right. So let's get on to some of the other businesses you can use to get more FK money. And the first one is the arcade. In the arcade, you also have a similar safe to what you have in the nightclub. Only with the arcade, the amount of money you get per in-game day is upped by how many arcade games you got. So if you have all the arcade games bought, the maximum income is $5,000 per in-game day. The maximum capacity of the safe is $100,000. So it's not as good as the nightclub, in the slightest 5000 instead of 50 but it is still a good amount of money because yeah who doesn't want hundred thousand dollars just out of nothing but also make sure to take this out when it is maxed or or it will stop giving you money until you empty it the next business is the bunker you can also buy supplies for your bunker however to make it more effective you will have to come back around every two hours to resupply the business so if you use the bunker it, you can't be fk for that long because you have to resupply it however it only takes about five minutes max to resupply the bunker and if you do put in this effort to do that you will earn substantially more money because the bunker is bonkers. No pun intended. Right, so the next business is the agency. And again, the agency has a wall safe. A lot of these businesses does have a safe like this. And yeah, again, the agency does have a safe, a wall safe that will fill up with money. But how much money you get will depend on a series of factors. This is probably the most complicated safe in the game. So I'll try and explain it simple for you. Basically, the amount of money that is added to the safe will increase by $500 for every 5 security contracts that you do complete up to a maximum of 200 security contracts. And security contracts is the contracts that you can use at the agency. It's not the contract, the main storyline, it's the other side contracts that you can do on the computer. This means if you complete 200 security contracts, you will manage to boost your daily safe income to twenty thousand dollars per in-game day for those wondering a day in gt online is around 48 real world minutes that you spend with the game open so you cannot close the game obviously next business or actually businesses because there's quite a few is the mc businesses if you really really wanted to earn a lot of money with this method you could also buy supplies for your mc businesses these will earn you the least amount of money for the amount of work you have to do when actually selling them but it will be a few more hundred thousand added to yeah, the total however if you've ever done the mc businesses before you know how horrible the selling missions are if you do them solo and also for this you will have to come back even more regular than the bunker because these supplies go away so quickly you will have to come back even more often I would recommend to buy supplies for all the businesses and the businesses I actually recommend you to buy is the cocoa business, the lab business and the grass business. I can't see the real names on YouTube because they don't like that but you get what I mean. This is only an option though because it is a lot of more work but if yeah if you wanted this to be even even more effective you could do this. Doing all this 
you could expect yourself to make between 2 and 2.5 million dollars every time you go afk depending on how long you're away from the game but if even that does not sound good enough for you then i recommend to watch this money guide on screen now it is a video i made about the absolute best method of getting money fast in gt online and i can promise you that you will become filthy rich if you watch it thank you for your time yeah I'm gonna call it again.